How to harder Red Hat Enterprise Linux 9 using CIS Benchmark? My name is Luca Berton and I'm an Ansible automation expert. First of all, what is a CIS Benchmark? Well, from the website you can see that this is a reference for all the security in a lot of different operating system, cloud provider, desktop software. So this is the reference authority for the security worldwide. It defines some internal standard that our system need to comply. So if you are in a high regulated market, you would like to comply to this benchmark. As you can see, they released the advisor for all the major Red Hat Enterprise Linux version. Latest is version number 9, but we can apply the same exact methodology to all the other versions. When we try to download the benchmark, actually uh, we need to file a form and as you can see we will be able to access all these uh, documents. Well, we are expecting some document uh, from uh, our computer, but the result is a little bit different. So after registering, you will be able to access this reserved page with all the latest version of a CIS benchmark. As you can see, all the latest version of the most common Linux distribution are available. So let me pick it up, Red right Hat Enterprise Linux 9. Uh, we are going to receive this PDF quite huge, so more, nearly 800 pages. And for each of them, there will be one item identified by a number like 1.1.1.1 .1 that uh, it exemplifies exactly what we need to do in our system, what is the audit and what's the remediation. This is very helpful because we are able to actually intervene in our system in a very clinical and precise way. But as you can see by the amount of pages, the amount of work is getting to be very, very massive because we have many, many checks to perform. So especially in a high regulated market, we need to make sure that our system are compliant to all these security standards. And it's a lot, yes, but this is the CIS benchmark that we need to comply. So imagine doing manually all this work, it could take uh, ages, I mean, probably months of works. So let's find out a more fun way to do it. As you can see, there is also a checklist, so our auditor can verify if our system are compliant with this international recognized certification. Yay! And this is where Ansible, our infrastructure automation, will start. Let me show you. So there is this lovely company from the UK that is called uh, Lockdown Enterprises that releases this content in their website. And I was dig down and actually they are following CIS benchmark and also STIG benchmarks. This is great because it meets the new, the latest PIS DSS uh, and as well as ISO 27001 and the latest NIST certification. This is very, very interesting. And well, they are also suggesting to use a, a different type of tool, but I think where the Excel is creating some Ansible role with all the checks that we need. So let's jump directly to CIS benchmark and you can see what are the available benchmark maintained by them and also have a top quality Ansible quality 5 for all these Linux, Windows and cloud platform as well as application. So we can just jump directly to RHEL 9 CIS and apply to our system. So there is also um, additional parameter if we need to enable some specific audit uh, stuff and yes, also STIG benchmark are covered. For, but I think that CIS benchmark are more up to date at the moment. You can take a look on the Getting Started Guide that defines exactly how to run this code. There, okay. 
but uh, the meaty part is here into the remediate because yes we are not going to only audit we are going also to taking action to remediate and correct the system to meet the CIS benchmark yes isn't this magic this is why I love automation let's get it done Okay, I think the best way is to use Ansible-Galaxy tool to actually download the related role. So first thing is actually to select the CIS role as you can see is released under GitHub so we can take a closer look at all the code and what is going to execute in our system. Let's go to the code snippet and copy the HTTPS repository. So then what we need to do, yes, in our Ansible controller, uh, we connect directly to the terminal and execute the command. So it was Ansible-Galaxy. So we are going to actually install an Ansible role inside our Ansible controller and using git plus HTTPS, just simple paste the URL that we copied before and now the role rel9-cis is successfully installed in our Ansible controller. So this code was downloaded by Ansible Galaxy command line tool inside our workstation or Ansible controller. So from now onward we can use it to check our server. Okay, how to do it? Well, this collection, uh, this Ansible role also provides a simple example of uh, a simple playbook that we can apply to check our hosts. So this playbook is stored under, inside, the, inside the role and specifically, so let me copy and paste and the file will be site YML. This is just an example we can customize as you can see, it's targeting host all. It requires also a root privilege to, to apply some uh, remediation. And uh, on the whole part, uh, is using the variable playbook dir, which means that is using the name rel9-cis. Cool, but now let's apply specifically to our use case. Well, to be more specific, first of all, I would like to copy this example in my current directory. So let me use a CP and let me specify the target directory dot. Yes, so I'm, I'm going to copy in the current directory. Let me use any editor. I prefer the VI editor that is a text edit editor, but you feel free to use any editor that you prefer, Visual Studio, whatever. So let me customize the role, specify rel9-cis, and let me remove this comment that is actually not helpful. I know that this is not uh, confirm, non compliant to the Ansible best practices, but we are, yeah. this is not the focus of this video, this education only. And the meaty part is actually to define the inventory. So I was installing a fresh rel9 machine that is called rel9.example.com rel and I'm going to specify some connection parameters. So Ansible connection will be SSH and Ansible user, this is the username to connect to this machine that will be Luca. I already enabled my SSH key for authentication. So let me execute with ansible-playbook-e specify the inventory file and site YML. So in a blink of an eye, Ansible is connecting throughout SSH to the target host. Oh yeah, we have a uh, this host is using a password to switch uh, from uh, Luca to the administrative role. So let me specify the capital letter K, which means uh, asking the password on the terminal to move forward. As you can see, the role is actually performing some action on the target host. First of all, it's auditing the current configuration, and then it will eventually perform all the necessary remediation. So this is actually the real execution on the host. Please notice that every 
step of our Ansible role exactly defined by a number. This number is the exact same number that we can find in the CIS benchmark. So every time there is a number 1.1.1.1, it means that we can take our PDF of the benchmark and reference for every execution. As you can see, there are some changes actually made on the target host and also some evaluation. So I think our Ansible execution Ansible technology is the best technology for performing every action on the host because we can store the uh, log of this execution and show to every auditor that we actually executed what exactly was described in the document. As you can see, this machine is actually running some services and is actually an Ansible automation controller of Ansible automation platform. So there are services running and uh, uh, there are plenty of action to take it. Uh, this role, however, is not perfect and uh, as is, it might end it up with some error. This is one example, for example, uh, is try to launch uh, the Ansible handler to restart Postfix, but we don't have any Postfix server on this machine. So what you gonna do it is just uh, we do we run the same Ansible playbook and uh, you ended up in uh, a different situation. As you can see, there were more than 300 checks executed automatically and more than 100 changes changes already performed. So this is an invaluable uh, amount of time saving and I'm so happy to share with you my community how to hardening a Red Hat Enterprise Linux 9 using CIS benchmark. You can apply the same methodology to hardening a Windows machine or a different type of Linux distribution. Just for the sake of you to understand, I was speeding up a little bit the video because uh, this execution is taking longer. It depends by the performance of your machine in the end of the day. And as you can see, there are many checks to be executed. So it's gonna take some time, but you can enjoy having a coffee and a cup of tea. And especially if your fleet is uh, big, you, need, you just need some time. But the best thing is that ex everything is executed automatically and also is doing some remediation. If you don't need the remediation part, you can always launch your Ansible code with dash dash check which means that it will be only prompted out the action to take on the target host. Uh, everything sounds so magic. However, we still need to execute some decision manually. And this is why I like this type of role because it pointed out which action we still need to investigate. As you can see, there are, in the end of the day, there are more 333 checkies. We did uh, automatically four remediation. However, we have still 16 warnings that require investigation. Okay, uh, the, from the long document that we've seen before, we ended up having only 16 warnings to check it out. I think this is great because we can end it up in like a one day of work and the end of the day we are compliance with one of the best worldwide uh, benchmark for about Linux operating system. And this is great. I'm so happy about Ansible technology. Let's automate more.